You know the cereal's what you're buying the box for. Maybe that's what you're buying the box for. What you're missing is the real value that you can get from the little parachute men that they sometimes are in. How about if I get the job at Phoenix, we can get you all the little parachute men you want. It'll be a whole squadron. That doesn't count. You can't just buy them. You have to earn them. Besides, I don't want your reptile dysfunction money anyways. And we're back at WKPLQRXT Radio with our caller competition to the death. You know what that sound means? It's time for our first caller and giveaway recipient for the Dyson Extra Suction. Oh, oh vacuum shit! With What's up? Did you out. see that? Nah, I missed it. Was it your foot? Yeah, yeah, it was my foot. And our next caller is a man named Joe Murphy from Rybrook, New York, the 10573. Joe, you there? Yeah, yeah, I'm here, I'm here. It's great to finally be here, by the way. I'm a huge fan. I've been listening since the Rocco days. That's great to hear, Joe. Congratulations on winning the 1047 The Smash WKPL QRXT Radio Dyson Propeller Vacuum Sweepstakes. You could bet your buttered up britches, your lubed up lackeys, your moistened man purse that you are now officially the recipient of not one of, but the hottest vacuum not on the market. Have anything to say to your fans? Oh shit, I'm gonna be late for work. I'll do the dishes later. <laughs> no you won't. You heard it first. Joe is late for work. Good luck getting there, buddy. And remember, don't worry about those dishes. I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'll be there in You're a minute. You're already 20 minutes late, for God's sakes. I'm alone in the back, and I'm not covering for you again. Tell Hank I was saving a cat from a tree or something. The only thing I've ever seen you save was a piece of pizza off the aisle 7 floor. It was five seconds, and I've had a bit of a hectic morning, okay? Listen, smartass. Hank is looking for you and says it's urgent. You better get here before he fires you or something worse. Worse? A Saturday shift? He wouldn't. Get your ass over here, and I better not smell beer in your shirt again. I'm not about to jeopardize my job again to cover you. This is on you, Joe. No one else. And if you want to keep working here, you're going to have to take this more seriously. This is the last... Joe, what is that noise? What are you doing? Joe! Hold on, Hank's coming over. One sec. Hey, douchebag, you'll never believe this. Don't take my word for it, but it's sounding like if you actually decide to show up, Hank's trying to give you store co-manager. I guess they like screw-ups around here, huh? Oh, thanks, Jen. Screw you, Joe. Get here.
I heard you also applied for that spot at Phoenix. That's awesome, man. Yeah, I had a great feeling about it. Drinks on me, ladies. Woo! Can you afford that? I can now, Clancitron. We're partying tonight, so don't get your servers fried. your employment here. You may stop by to gather your belongings on Tuesday between 3 p.m. and 5 p.m. Failure to do so will serve as your forfeiture of said belongings to Phoenix. Thank you, and have a good afternoon. Uh, Joe, it's Clancy, in case you forgot. I know you're hurt, but would it kill you to call me back? Anyways, I'm going to head over today just to check in, see how you're doing and all that. So, uh, we'll see you there. Oh, yeah, and by the way, I got the little parachute guy in my cereal today. <laughs> Isn't that funny? I'll make sure to give it to you. You deserve it. What are you doing here? Excuse me for checking up on my friend who went off the grid for the last week and a half. What the hell is this? It's a gift basket. I thought you earned it by being the world's worst stuntman. Wow. You really are living in a pigsty, huh? Get it out of here. I don't want your charity. It's concern, not charity. You really can't pick up a bottle or two? I didn't earn shit. It's charity. <laughs> what does it matter? It's a gift. What is going on with you today? For Christ's sake! I don't want you micromanaging every little second of my life as you always do. Considering the plane crash that is your life right now, I think you do. I don't want you standing up for me anymore. How about you stand up for yourself? It's sad. What are you talking about? I take your dream job away from you with zero effort, and then you come back and want to be my lapdog. It's pathetic. Eat shit. You're the dog, remember? Is your goal to piss off the only person who cares about you at all right now? All I'm trying to do is give you a goddamn. I don't want your handouts, and I don't need you breathing down my neck! I guess it's your lucky day.
to 1047, the Smash WKPL QRXT Radio. It's a bright, beautiful, and booming day in the 10036. It's days like today that I think about what Rocco said to me the day before he was taken into custody for his part in his underground illicit life or death poker ring. Leslie, he told me, you may have a face for radio, but don't let that take away from the fact that you make people smile in the morning. Sure, never left you, but you do what you can to make people's lives a tiny bit better each and every day. We're all fighting our battles like you went caught with Deborah. But if you don't stop to smell the roses rather than thinking about the ones still sprouting, then what's the point of the garden? That's the stuff that counts, baby. Well, later we found out that he was counting the cards. But his words still ring true. And you can bet your ass that in 8 to 10, if he makes parole out of his maximum security prison, he'll be talking you all up himself.